She really hates him. It's really true. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Test your mic. Test, test, test. So he. This is so. This is not. When I say testing one, two, three, I'm not doing it for us. I'm doing it for uh, the producer, for Nick, so he can adjust his sound levels. That's what they have to do. They adjust their sound levels so when they send it out to the public, it sound it doesn't sound too high, too low. It's mixed very well. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? All right. I just can't. I can't. I, I can't start like this with with you talking about sound level. Like, what are you talking about? Do you really think like that's an important thing to say? Well, that's why because people go, why is he going testing, testing? Nobody goes that. They go, oh, he's an idiot. He does it every time, regardless. Do you think it makes you sound smart to be like, well, we got to know if the levels are correct up or down? No, we don't know the producer. Okay, but. Because we're not there. I mean. We, we don't it, see the mixing board. I, you know, I, every time I listen to a podcast or the radio, I go, why are they talking about the sound levels and how they get them? I don't know how this happens. How do the how do they know what level to put them Cause at? Because they're sitting in a room with a producer with a you sound dumb, dumb. board. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so mean, but this is like what? ridiculous. I'm making fun of you. No, I'm telling you. No, I, I no. You don't say no when I'm making fun of you. I am making fun of you. That's a yes. That's no, a big capital not, Y E S. Okay. Oh, capital. So, so I am making fun of you, and so don't go. Oh, well, let me clarify then about the sound levels. No, people A don't care. B already know. Okay, that's your camera right there. I know that. Okay. And those are the lighting, and these are the new chairs that you bought that no one could see. Uh, but in case, in case you know, someone comes down to do an interview, I guess. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Okay, no, let's just... Uh, uh, well, no, I'm just saying... I mean, what is the point of no, that? What is the point of saying, like, uh, here's chairs that no one can see? Well, if you're going to buy... Let's not have anything, then, because no, no one comes over. Let's not have anything. What, what no. do we need to enjoy things for? We don't need it. It's well, all, Things uh, are only for other okay. people to see. No, 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 no. That's where you're wrong. And if oh, I, am I wrong? Yes. Because it, I'm being sarcastic. So, yeah. Once again. No. Once again, maybe if you listen. <laughs> do you? If you learn I, I, and listen. Once again, I'm making fun of you. I'm not. I'm making fun of you for saying, like, no one can see them. We can no, see them. No, no, no. Nobody... Uh, why? Them. Why do we have a bed? We sh no one can see it. No, no. You see, no, because the, the beds. If the bed was in the podcast, then people would go, "Oh, that's a new bed they have in the podcast." People are watching the podcast, so you got. It's not. Wait, listen, you got these chairs. Very nice of you. It's sweet. You're trying. You you are fixing up the podcast room, but deep down. And you'll, you know, because you can't take any criticism. I'm not taking, it's not criticism. I'm going to criticize. This you, this Can I criticism. finish? You didn't let me finish. No, this wasn't criticism. Can I finish? You said not yet. Because you said, no. here's some chairs. No one can Okay, see. yeah, so well, let me explain. Let mm -hmm. me clarify mm -hmm. without you flying off the deep end. Because, like I said, you, you're trying to do positive things. But once, you know, if I say something negative about your chairs. Are you oh, not saying anything negative? I, I will in a dumb, second. I'm, I'm not. I'm not done. It's not Let about me. the negativity of the chairs. It's it's the the stupidity well, of no. the remark. No one can see no, them. No, that's you're wrong. Can I finish? Okay. Okay. One, if you're getting new chairs, where you uh, where you bought your car, do you know those high, nice, comfortable chairs that you see that? Those are the kind. People, what are you talking about? It, at, at Fred's place. You're talking we, about the car place. His seats. Those seats. At his office. Yes. No, the car, the car place, but the seats in his parking lot. Yes, at his office. Those, those. It's a bizarre. First of all, it's I'm saying to be like, okay. No, do you remember uh, when you were at the estheticians? <laughs> do you remember those cushions? No. Okay. <laughs> now, if you're gonna get seats. First of all, you deep down inside know these are not comfortable seats. 
Do you think well, they're What about the seats that we had? That, oh. I didn't say they were kind I'm saying the ones you bought. Do you think... These had to be like this because we only have a certain amount of space, so you couldn't could have, have those big round... Yes, you could have the high back... The high back would ones... Why you be having them and moving around? You don't want that. You want to be... You, you could want... stay stationary, but you have the high back. Look, these are cool seats. Like, if you... I don't know where they would be cool at, but they're cool. But they're not... And you know, deep down, they're not the most comfortable. And not only that... Like Bonnie's buying, night, she bought this great dining room, uh, living room uh, table. It, it, it's perfect. But then she goes, "Oh, let me think about getting, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you call where you hang your coats. It's, it's what? so uh, the thing where you the hang dining room table is from no, a hundred years no, ago. No, I, I said the living room table. Okay, a I coffee saw. table. Yes, You're talking about coffee table. Okay, and it, it's a very nice coffee table. But, Mrs., I, I got to, you know, try to fix things up overnight. You know, take your time. That's how I do it. I take my time, you know, and I work on things. And she got this coat where you hang your coat. It's it's for a factory. That's how big it is. Like, you can't hang it, you know, where you walk in. <laughs> and ha if you hung it where you walk in, you could only open Are the door. Are you just doing the podcast with your eyes closed? No, why? Oh, that's what it looks like. No, because oh. you're you'll n you never look in the camera. Oh, okay. You only stare at yourself. I'm sorry. I because I, I was, you know what? It's called diverting. Because uh, you know she goes, I'm making fun of you, and I sit here and take it. But then when I tell the truth about her, no, her go call, ahead. I, I I is it was it ridiculous? Is it? I mean, was I it, don't know if it's ridiculous. I didn't measure. I should have measured. And I got to send it back. Yeah, and how how big and heavy? I'm is sorry. It? I'm sorry that I made such a wild, terrible. Terrible mistake. Now think, let's talk about your car. Wait, do you think these chairs are positive or negative? I first of all, I love them. I like I love them. the chairs. I like them. There, I have a vision for this podcast room. Obviously, it's not done yet, and we are working towards it. What's what's if I of left everything up to Rich Voss? We, you know, this would just be we, we would be living in. You know when you go into like one of those really junky secondhand stores where they have like a little bit of everything? Junky? Yeah, that's what we'd be living in. Antique like, furniture you're calling junky. I'm not even calling it antique furniture. I'm calling it old. You love going in that like... Yeah, the place... Uh, it's, like, it's, it's not an antique it's a, store. Well, there's a lot okay. of antiques in there. I d <laughs> not really, no. It's a, it's a secondhand store. No, the Habitat for Humanity or something. It's... Next to Walmart in Manville. It's Go fully junky and you have to like wander and... <sighs> if I die, I guarantee, and let me just tell you, I, I, part of me wants to die so I can show you that I'm right, is that... And so that I don't have to spend any more time with Rich, but... Yeah, oh, a really nice. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a j Are you kidding me? You're going to take offense to that? No, I'm not taking offense to okay. it. Okay. Yes, I want him dead, but that oh. other part was a joke. So, um, oh, but that's not. <laughs> oh my god! What if my plane crashes today? How horrible are you going to feel? I will feel terrible. I'll ask you to take down the podcast. I'll say, could you please remove any reference of me asking uh, Rich to die in the podcast? And then there'd be three podcasts left up. Oh, I think the housekeeper is here. Oh, the housekeeper. Go ahead. Okay, so. Wait, what was I saying? Uh, if you die, the house. Oh, oh, he, it's it's hoarder city, man. It is hoarder city. F first of all, because people who have a hoarding tendency, when their loved one dies, then they tend to hoard because I it's, would, it's all clean, based in... I would clean out your stuff out of your room in no time. It's all, Yeah, in my room, so you could put more shoes in there. It's all Ooh. based on... Um, codependency, too, is the same thing. It's like all abandonment issues. So you've got abandonment uh, I issues. I don't have any abandonment issues. You're still here. Yeah, because I didn't abandon you. I'm the only fucking person in your life that did abandon oh, you. Oh, really? My kids did? Okay. I'm talking about the other side of it. Oh, my family? Yeah. My mom didn't abandon me. Well. No, well. Well. She didn't like you. Are you kidding me? Go ahead. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yep. Come back. <laughs> I know I've told this story before, but I think it bears repeating that you guys... Well, if you never told it before, you're not repeating it. I said, I think I've told this story before, oh. but it bears repeating. Wow. 
We are uh, we are off to the races today. No, man. you are attack, attack, attack. Okay, I, well, could, I, I I'm sorry. I back off. No. I, go ahead. T- talk again about. No, tell the story. No, then. no. I'm, I'm trying to listen. It's just so hard in these uncomfortable chairs. Go ahead. Don't go ahead. Ow, and, my and talk back. about how the the sound works. The levels. No, uh, uh, Is my levels good? We, we, you got to keep asking. Otherwise, how how? He will tell us. All right, go ahead. Tell your story. It's going to be. Uh, about my mom, I guess, who passed away. God rest her soul. May she rest in peace. Died old, dementia. But go ahead. What's the story? You guys were always at each other's throats. You would come in and start pressing her buttons, and she would it's respond. It's pushing her buttons, Whatever. not pressing her buttons. She's not a, a, a dryer. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, really? You <laughs> press the dryer buttons, but you don't push the dryer buttons? You. It's called pushing the bu- pushing someone's buttons. Okay. Not pressing their buttons. All right, go ahead. It's maybe in Canada it's pressing their buttons. I'm going to fucking <laughs> press the middle of your face with my fist. Whoa. Go ahead. So you, I said to you one day when we were going to visit your mom, I said, please just, you know, be nice. Don't just, a- you know, ask her how she is. And be kind. Like you don't have to start off, you know pushing her buttons and then so we went in i think that day i pressed nursing homes and uh oh brother i gotta go i'll keep talking no just yes i got a couple things i'll do some plugs be careful you just stepped on a oh oh, those are the new tacks i bought sorry (laughs) no i don't want credit for tax i'm joking uh anyhow why bonnie goes upstairs to let in our guest who uh, Bonnie has somebody come in and help clean the house, which uh, is, I don't know, whatever. And But it has to be, oh, make sure the counters are clean. Make sure this is done. And done. I, well, why are they coming? But that's besides the point. And a uh, very nice lady that comes and does a great job. So this weekend I'm at uh three e's comedy club in colorado springs i'll be there friday and saturday and uh next weekend i'll be at the plaza hotel the comedy works in las vegas that will be next weekend and then february tons of i mean i'm booked almost through the summer so if you go to richfoss.com you'll see all my dates bonnie's coming back and uh I guess is everything uh, hold on here she comes uh, you let her in no no I, I kept the outside. I said you know what really haha <laughs> <laughs> you hurt your leg trying to get in these in the little <laughs> chairs that don't slide back either maybe if you got the ones with, wheel, with the wheels on them you know what we're gonna have to do we might have to get different chairs and, and find a place to put these down. Those chairs that we had, Not those, they stung. you never complained or anything. I didn't they like didn't. them. I didn't like that. Was This is, we just threw this podcast room together after the flood. I, I was planning on getting nice chairs with, with wheels. You know, these, these are, you know where these are going to look nice in, in downstairs in, in our basement where we are now, but in the living room or something down there, they'll look beautiful. Go ahead. Now, what were you saying about my mom? We're going to the nursing home, and I was... But when we had those chairs, you never once were like, hey, we need to get new well, chairs. Th- well, the thing with those is they were easy to move back, too. You could just pick them up and move. These are these are cool chairs. Don't get me wrong. And I, maybe, think we can hand, I think we I, can handle it. I think we can work yeah, Well, then maybe it's because the rug has to be taken up so they could slide back and forth. That's all. That's all. So uh, we're going into test again for the sound since you left. Test. Okay, so go ahead. We're going into. You don't think just talking is enough test? Like you think the word test is important? Well, it's professional. <laughs> it's totally not professional. It's very. Everyone. You're the worst. You're not professional at all. You're chewing gum like a fucking maniac. You're not looking into the camera. Uh, you need, this you is you. Take that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there goes the exaggeration. I hope you hit your head next time you do that. Okay. Go ahead. Oh boy, oh. this is gonna. This is not the gonna dog, be good. It's gonna be good. We have to do it because I have to leave. I have to catch Does a the flight. Dog, can the dog? Uh, well, why didn't you let the dog come downstairs? The dog is downstairs. No, that barking's coming from upstairs. She's standing on the the, 
the on the stairs. Yeah. So the dog is not downstairs. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know to block the stairs. Should I block the stairs? Not let the dog walk up and down the stairs. Not if the no. door is at the top of the stairs. Yes, and I asked. The dog's upstairs, and you said the dog is downstairs, and it, it, the dog <laughs> oh was. Oh my god! Oh, I, listen. Oh my god! Okay, I believe the dog is midway on the stairs. Perfect. Stop barking. Okay, tell your story. I don't want. I. I really no, go ahead. I. I want to hear it now, and I want to hear it. I, I want to hear. It. I just. I don't. I there's wanna... times where you're funny and you make me laugh. The other night we went out and it was fun and I had a good time. I, but then there's uh, times where it's like, I. I. I want to strangle you. It's like I'm coming out of my skin. It's just I don't. You know. Don't you? You must feel like that about me, probably right now. No. Whatever. I'm not going to sit here and be Nikki negative. You. And what do you mean? That's all you do. That's not all I That's do. That's your life. Oh, really? Really negative? Yeah, really. When <laughs> These I put, comebacks are. Yeah, when I put in light bulbs. Pretty great. That was negative to put new light bulbs in the kitchen. Why would that have anything to do with this conversation? Because you're you saying don't, no. If you're Matt, okay. You go. If you're on trial for murder, and you go. Oh, well, I did the dishes for my wife, and I brought her a yeah. coffee. Is that how I talk? And then, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking You're about a murderer. You're trying to me. No, I'm not. Stop it. Let go of your whatever insecurities. I don't have insecurity. Well, everybody does, but you try to imitate me. You do that dumb voice. Go ahead. Go ahead. So a murderer. Richard, you only look at yourself in the podcast. You don't even ever look at me. You never look at I look at you all the time. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh Tell first do the murder story, then do my mother's story. I mean, they get the murder thing already. It's like obvious. You don't get to count every single like moderately nice thing. You've well, ever yeah, done. And you I can't say everything. Light bulbs. Then you can't say I'm negative if you don't count the positive things. You can't. <laughs> you, you can't count every negative thing and go he's negative. Okay, but that's so stupid and hypocritical. <laughs> you're, you're so one sided. Oh, you're so one sided. I'm only going to look at your one side. You're one sided. What? You're not even making. Yes, sense. I make sense. You're not. You're not. See. You're only saying negative. So you're only saying negative things. Saying I'm negative, which is negative, and you're being one sided. You don't see the overall overall picture of things. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. Oh my, oh my God. God! How are you going to take that as a assault? Well, am I wearing the glasses that you prefer? Are you happy I'm wearing these glasses? Yeah. Next step: clean them. <laughs> see. See what I mean? Negative. Nothing positive, see? I mean, it's hard because, okay, let's let's move on. Well, tell me the story about that. I well, you went, in, you went in to see your mom and you were like, how are you doing today? She goes, I'm laying in a fucking bed. How do you think I'm doing? Yeah, she was in a nursing home. I know, but it was funny that I told you to be nice and then she was. She, was, she had a tough life. My mom had a tough life. And uh, I was thinking about it the other day. I, I'm very grateful for uh, all the sacrifices my mother made. That's nice. For three of us, for three kids mm -hmm. to work nonstop. And we weren't great kids. And I feel bad. And your dad kind of left to all the responsibilities to yeah, her. I've, yeah. Well, that happens in divorce. I'm, well, back then, they would just take off. Dads would just take off. Like, you know, and not, not all only dads. Was, not all, but a lot back then. You know, I mean, they, some dads still do it. Some dads, it's yes. not a that back then or a now. Well, it's yeah, like some yeah. dads did, some dads d didn't, and now. But it's it the was same thing. different back then. There wasn't as many self help groups. There wasn't as many, you know, uh, TV shows where it talked about divorce or whatever. Uh, you know, uh, who's calling me? Who just uh, Who cares? Let it go. Go ca carry on with what you're doing. You're doing a podcast. So anyhow. Uh, my mom made a lot of sacrifices. Really make a face when I'm talking about my mom? Not about that. About you and your, like, ADD. <sighs> You're giving me anxiety. I don't give people anxiety. You do. Oh, no. you do. No. No. No one can. You got anxiety oh. or you don't. It doesn't have any... 
Yes, people can give you anxiety. They, they can trigger it. You can have anxiety. Well, I don't have any fucking responsibility to triggering your fucking anxiety. Okay, then I have no responsibility to tr- trigger your anger. You if have you to get be nice to people. If you get, well, you have to be non-aggressive uh, or non, you know, whatever. Do, do I have to see, do trigger see, warnings see, if I'm going to take something off your there's, fucking glasses? There's, uh, see, there's one-sided. She can't trigger my anxiety, but yet I could trigger her anger. See what I, I never mean? said you trigger my anger. I you make me angry. You give me anxiety. You can't. You make no sense. You can't do one without the other. Their emotions or their feelings. Yeah, they're your emotions in your body, not mine. And so is anger. It's in your body, not mine. See? See? Go ahead now. Uh, in court. Say we were in court. Let's do a, another trial, all right? Well, well yeah. in this scenario, I'm a murderer, and yeah. I've killed you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> so you are angry. To, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so go ahead. Move on. What do you want to talk about now? The, uh, the benefit? No, I want to talk about, as I wonder if people know that I wanted to buy a Lexus, and so went down and... You know. Well, don't you say. Also, too, let's discuss how I helped you get your Lexus and stuff. Don't act like you just want to get a Lexus and you flew down. I, I told okay, you. So I, I researched some cars. I had some people from this podcast uh, DM me and tell me about how great Lexuses were. So I started researching them, and they are great cars. And uh, Rich said, "Oh, don't get a Lexus." No, I didn't say don't. I said don't get a Range Rover. I know, but then you said don't get a Lexus. I didn't say You were like, get a Hyundai. You were trying to... I don't think I said don't get a Lexus. And then I said... I don't... I think... You said maybe I should get a new car. And I said, get a new car. Go ahead. And you were like, no, I love my Hyundai. I I never... I don't need it. I don't need a new car. You did. You did say this. Okay. Yeah. And then... Well, let's talk about... I went... What? To the this place where they get you cars, basically. I don't He's know a wholesaler. Works. He he auction he get, goes to auctions, gets cars. So I said, I want a Lexus. Wait, wait, wait! You went there on your no, no. Uh, you 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 brought me there. You you knew the guy. You told me, okay, let's go to this place. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the same way that I oh well, ordered it's all these about chairs you. and put them together myself. Yeah, but it wasn't uncomfortable where I took you. It's uncomfortable where I'm it's sitting. Getting un- it's going to get uncomfortable. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about to get uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not going to get uncomfortable. So anyway, I look at the cars that are coming up on auction, and I say, oh, that one, I want that one. That's a good one. And then um, the next day, he got the car for me. Yeah, I put said, in the bid. I, and I he said, had to go get it, so it's, it's taking a And I a while. dealt with the prices and say, what, don't go over. No, you didn't. He said to me, listen, I'm a grown woman. I don't need you to say. He said, here's the price of the car that it starts at. How high do you want me to go? I said, until you get the car. And you're like, no, no, don't say that. And then he was like, look, this X amount is probably what I'm going to get it for. I said, yeah. sounds good. Yeah, Whatever. Well, I didn't need you. I did oh, you not didn't? need you really to be you? like, um, yeah. Uh, oh, there goes the voice again. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't go yeah. too high yeah. on the car. Yeah, I said don't go over a certain <laughs> but, price. Why would I? No, you didn't. It didn't matter. I, it was my car. I was talking to him. Okay, so I got the car. Very good price. He gave me a very good price on my trade-in. And uh, wait, wait. But who went to... Uh, how did you know what your trade-in was worth? Thank you for going to Kelly Blue Book and, and looking it up. Yes, I so appreciate would all... Would you have done that? Would you have done knowing what you... Hey, if you no. would have went in there and he said 2000 for your car, you would go, okay. Yeah. When it was worth 10000 All right. But you would have went, okay, You don't have to 000. say actual numbers. That's what I'm trying to stay away from that. I don't care what you're staying on. That's a used car. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I would have stayed away from actual numbers. Oh, yeah. All right. So you would have went in and if it, if he was a criminal, which he's not, he's very uh, legitimate and great to deal with. He's a nice guy, yeah. He, he really is. And his you know daughter who works. Yeah, we, I, I got my Porsche from him. We got a BMW from him, uh, the, our SUV when we had our uh, X3. So he would have looked up the blue book value for me, but you did, and that's nice. And I'm not taking anything away from you. People could look it up and go, "Ah, it's worth this." 
When, whenever. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I can't you just want so much credit. I don't want credit. Story. Don't okay. act like you without me. I didn't. Me. I was. I would never tell the story that you weren't there. You were there. But you I was. Don't act like I was there. Like I just sat there in in, in some uncomfortable chair. I helped you through the whole no, process. No, apparently their chairs are very comfortable, <laughs> and that's the ones you're going to see pretty soon. Because okay. I'll order. I'll go get them myself. <laughs> so. Ah, so anyway, it's taking a while to get the car because of some title issue. So we have to get the title from some title. What? Yeah, the title. They 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 get the car. They got the car, but they didn't get the title. So now they have to wait and get the title. Yeah, but the whole deal is. I mean, Bonnie, they bought the car. Bonnie didn't do the paperwork yet. And no, I did so. do the paperwork. Anyway, I haven't written the check yet. Anyway, so, which I will when, when they say, come get your car. So anyway, um, while I'm there looking at the car, like excited about it. It was nice. Mm -hmm, Rich tells the guy, all of a sudden the guy's looking up other Lexuses. And I'm like, exactly the same car, exactly the same year, exactly. <laughs> the no. same interior and i hear rich say yeah get me that one and i was like can i speak to you outside for a moment well, that's how i say, do it well, 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 rich, rich likes to just yell and have like well, well, major fights in front of people first of all it didn't go like that at home i go maybe i should get a new car because i want something with turbo and you go yeah go ahead get one so don't act like yeah but i didn't know you were going to get the exact same make was model a, and interior it was a me. different outdoor outside color it was a darker it's called exterior it was a different exterior are you color. having a heart attack yes i think so why because you're oh. not looking in the <laughs> you're such a fucking asshole go ahead <laughs> I went there and Rich was just dragging along behind me. Thank God. It's like I brought my, my puppet. Go ahead. Well, there wasn't much to do. The guy was like, hey, you want this car? I was like, yeah, that looks good. And then that's what happened. So then I said to Rich, do you have to get the same make, model, and interior? And he was like, what? I just like it. It's not a big deal. The interior is what sold me, but I didn't get it. But that was, it's not the outdoor, the out, the exterior. There was another one there. Yeah, she wanted black, me to get black what? on black in the summer. Black on black. You know how hot it is getting into a car? Black on black in the summer. Okay. And I don't like white cars. It They're, has cooled seats and like cooling. And her stuff. does. Her, her car has cool looking seats. I'm no, no. I'm saying you have like... Like, it's so hot, but you have, like, you know, you have seat warmers, you have seat coolers. Yeah, I know. But you got to wait, still get into the car and cool it off. And getting into a car, and I've had cars. It's, we live in New Jersey. We don't live in Miami. Oh, relax. You used that stupid scenario before in the summer. It's hot. Why do you love stealing? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't look into it like no, that. what? I'm what I'm doing a podcast. What? I, I, what? Good. I, you want me to put your head into the table? Is that what you're trying? Is that I, what you're going for? I mean, kind of. I want to get <laughs> get rid of this. Uh, yeah. Well, get me I did out of my misery. Yeah, she said, "Don't get to brings me outside." Oh, you can't get the same. I said you can if you want, but I no. go, I, I just want to go on she record as saying it's a little weird. She said, uh, "What happens when we both gonna post pictures of our interior?" I don't post pictures of my interior. That was she, like a joke. No. Oh my God, she wanted to post <laughs> pictures on Instagram of her interior and was scared I was gonna do it. She goes, "Oh, I look was it. joking." Look, but okay, I, a living in Rich Voss's shadow again. Is that well, what it's, I was. These were all jokes, but based that in reality, joke. do you understand? It's like so. Anyway, I still haven't gotten my car because the title, title hasn't come. But yesterday, Rich drives up with a brand new. Red <laughs> Not <your> Lexus. <laughs> well, let me. Okay, let me. Ex okay, can I tell? So it's a beautiful I, car. Okay, but me, I mean. <laughs> okay, let me. I you're making. I'm trying gonna to make tell me. people like I I, can't, I keep imagining like my mom and dad being like, "Did you get the car?" And I'll be like, "No, but Rich Rich got one." <laughs> 
<laughs> he got a Lexus? <laughs> yeah. No, it was our decision together. No. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. It's not weird that he got the same thing that I was getting. No. I. Oh. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Okay. You're making me seem like. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, do it right into the mic. I'm not doing it into the mic. I turned my head. Uh. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. So. They should make you, before you get married, do a podcast with your spouse. <laughs> you know? Don't you think that would be good? Oh, no. <laughs> then, then you'd know not to do it. Okay, so I said to Bonnie, you know, <laughs> You're... I said to Bonnie, I said to Bonnie, listen to me, folks. I said to Bonnie, okay? I said to Bonnie, I go, look, I like my car. My car's paid for. I had a Hyundai Tucson, the best one you can get, whatever, top of the line. Tucson, Hyundai, great car, great. It had everything, had everything, but... It, 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 I like turbo. It was four cylinder, non turbo. Lexus is turbo. So, and I was kind of bored. I get bored of my, you know, I just get bored yeah. easily. I, you know, you it has just. Nothing to do with me buying a Lexus. No. If but, I hadn't wanted a Lexus, I'm sure you still would have got one. No. The reason I don't get, and and here's the thing I had when I, I've had a BMW. People, I swear to God, I, I feel bad for you because people are going to be like, what rich voss is at it again trying to talk his way out of fucking people know you have a mental illness it's not, yeah, i don't it's know. like they, can it's i like, go can you imagine like my mom is gonna be like like they think you're weird already but they're gonna be like oh like it's not it's not like the worst thing in the world to get a lexus when your wife is getting a lexus it's just it's because it's you no it's like no, it's so no. you you know can i can, can i can i tell my you know oh i'm sorry in court you're only so one side. weird yesterday no. i told you you were weird and you laughed and today you're taking it all fucking no so i'm seriously. trying to tell my side of the story so i don't look like an idiot you you're going to you should just lead into it lead into being an idiot that's <sighs> It's there's no getting around it. I hope that I hope the cleaning people hear this, and they'll see what I deal with. So, am I looking? Is it? Do I? Am I connecting? You think? No. So, so I said to Bonnie, "Yeah, you know, my car." She goes, "Yeah, get a car." Okay, no big deal. Now, after well, I, I can't went, say don't get a car. It would be a horrible. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, she goes, "If it makes you happy, you're." You know, you work hard, get do whatever you want. I mm -hmm. even talked to my friend Bobby. He goes, "Yeah, go ahead, get you know." And oh, we'll, oh well, Bobby said it. What do you need my opinion for? I said I even talked to him. So, oh, uh, so, uh, you know, after going in there with Bonnie and listening to Fred the wholesaler, how great Lexuses are how great, you know, they're the best, they don't break down. And I'm not getting another BMW because I don't like the warranty. It went from 50,000 down to 35. So Lexus, everybody's saying, get a Lexus, it's great, right? So I go, okay, if I'm gonna get a new car, I'll get a Lexus, I'm not getting a Mercedes, I, I didn't want to deal with that. And I, I, you know, I'm not getting, listen, I had a Porsche, I love Porsches, and I'm not getting a two-seater. So I go, yeah. everybody's saying, raving about the Lexus. So, and I didn't want another, SUV. So what I did was, and now listen, I went online. They can't do anything else. Their AirPods are in. They're li they're already listening. But I go went, ahead. Yeah. I went to. If you're not, if you're doing something else, stop. If you're driving, pull over. This is important. Go, go ahead. I went online and I I went to Bridgewater Lexus. That's where the Lexus dealership is. Yeah, we get it. We, Bridgewater, Bridgewater Lexus. Bridgewater Lexus. It's all right there in the name. You don't even have to <laughs> explain. I'm saying it's close else. to us. <laughs> It's close. <laughs> now wait, let me tell you what kind of person I am. Wait, so, what is a Bridgewater Lexus? <laughs> I don't know so, what that is. I'm saying where it is. It's close to us. It's oh my god! I can't take it. Okay, I go can't. Ahead. Take it. So I'm I said, <sighs> I tried. So I said, uh, I looked at cars and I looked at new cars. I looked at used cars, and the new car wasn't that much more than. Uh, you know, a 2021. So I saw a nice one. Now this is what I did. I went to Bonnie and I said, Bonnie, I go, look, 
I told you to go to the wholesaler who's great. We bought cars from them. I go, but I'm giving you the option. If you want a brand new car, you could take that car and I'll take... I'll buy I didn't want a I wanted uh, but a I car did, that I, I already picked okay, up. Okay, but I said to you, because you didn't have the option. You didn't think you had the option. I didn't know did it was it. a car car. You were going to like make me take a car car? No, no, you could have got... Well, no, I'm. that's what I was getting. You could probably... Oh, I don't know. I didn't look up the prices of the SUVs, new SUVs. I didn't look up those. Anyhow, so I went to Bridgewater... Lexus. I, uh, Where I guess, is that? It's it's right on twenty two. So I don't. I they were first of all they were great. Look, when I buy a car, I don't go in. I go look. This tell me the price. This is what I want for my car. I dealt with this guy, Rich uh, Tulo. Tulo. T U L L O. He was a salesman. Why do you have to tell this part? Because I'm trying to help. Well, one, I'm giving them a plug so other people, if they go in, they ask for him because the guy was great. What about the guy who got my car? How many times did I say Fred, the wholesaler? I said it 10 times. <laughs> I know, but it's just one name, Fred. Yeah, oh, the wholesaler. If you know a Fred I don't know Fred's in Hillsborough. Last name. I don't know if Fred's you know last... a Fred in Hillsborough. I don't know. He, he might ask if he sells cars. Oh, you're, you know what? You don't, Do you know what Google is? If people go wholesaler in Hillsborough, Fred's name comes up. I don't know Fred's last name, but I've mentioned Fred 10 times, and I said we bought two or three cars from him. So don't... What about my guy? What the fuck? Who says that? What about my salesman? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Who says that? What about my... So I saw this guy. I talked to... How uh, have we made it this far? I talked, you know, to the head salesperson or the guy that runs the place, and they gave... All right, I paid a little above sticker price, but they gave me what I wanted for my car. And it was, you know, I, you can, people go in for cars and, you know, they uh, drive all over the place and they go in and uh, let me think about it, come back tomorrow and they haggle and they save 200. It's not worth it. Just get the, you just get the car. You, you, you go, can I, what's the price? What will you give me for my car? Boom. All right. Now we did that. The guy Rich was great. Uh, he he used to work in Wall Street. He knew everybody from ooh show business because he dealt with them. He had a uh, well, whatever. That's besides the point. Anyhow, so he wasn't uh, like Fred, who was like, didn't, didn't you used to do comedy? Oh God, well that was horrible. And he started putting up Google Fred, clips. If you're listening to this, that's why he went to Bridgewater. No, it isn't. But I use that. I where put, the guy knew showbiz talk. No, right? I, I tell them, I listen. This is a this helps in sales, and I don't care. Every comic does it, whatever they can. I go, listen. I have over a hundred thousand followers on on so, on social media. Oh, together. Oh, I never thought about. Well, I have eighty something thousand on Twitter and thirty thousand on Instagram. Yeah, that's, but I never thought of combining them. That's a good idea. Yeah, you go over a hundred thousand follow. I go, I will, and right in the place I said if you're by you know on Twitter and you know so it was easy to deal with I got the car I drove it home it's it's really a lot to do I mean it's like you got to go to school with it and I'm sure your car is going to have all the same stuff you know I mean it's so much shit to learn but you know I just want to regret a, getting a new Lexus no not at all because I wanted a car car I was kind of tired of an SUV uh SUV, uh, it's just, I felt like, you know, some old guy driving or grandma driving my SUV. Like, yours is sporty. I would take that in a second, the one you got. the uh, Yeah, you almost did. Yeah, yeah. So anyhow, listen, we're going to both end up with cars. Uh, you know, I put some money down. I'll finance a little trade of my car in. I cleaned it. And that's another pain in the ass when you get a new car, cleaning out your old car, all the crap you have in it. You realize, what the, f why did I have this in there? You know? So, uh, okay, yes, Bonnie planted the seed of getting a Lexus, and I'm glad she did. You know, when we had BMW, we both had BMWs at one time. Many times we both had BMWs. I had to get a new one, she'd get a new one, da 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 da. Uh, so so now we both have a Lexus. That's all. She has an SUV. I have a car. And, yeah, there you have it. You know, pretty soon Bonnie will have a new house. I'll have this house. You know. No, Mom, it's not weird. Uh, we we both agreed to get Lexus. <laughs> We're a Lexus family now, Mom. It's fine. No, I he's not trying to 
just do every you know he's it's not a jealousy thing mom please no it's not jealousy what do you think i was je- are you kidding i could you were like did it, this one i could have went okay can i say it or, without you like hitting no. me and getting mad and no stuff? have i ever hit you put me in a chokehold you've hit me i've never hit you uh, can i do it now I could have walked in and bought a Porsche. I could have bought a, a Bentley. Yeah, you could have. Oh, really? You're going to drive around in a Bentley? <laughs> no, I think it's because you were like, you... Oh, you, here we go. You, I think, like, attention is your most highest value. Well, I, Like, I, you I, like it so much. And I so then if you see someone else getting attention, you're like, I got to get attention, too. That's not true at all, because the whole world gets attention. You know, there's and it makes negative. you mad. That's why you're like in a bad mood all the time. You're I'm like, never in a. Don't say I'm in a bad mood. All, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> is that supposed to? Is that supposed yeah. to be your argument for being I, not being in a bad mood? Oh, ah! You turned into the Hulk. When, I am not angry. When people say not nah, stop, you're in a bad mood. When you're not in a bad mood, it puts you in a bad mood. Well, I'm not in a bad mood. I woke up in a great mood. I woke up, well, not in a great mood, because my daughter walked in and woke me up and goes, take me to school. I miss the bus. But then she's ordering me around, you know, whatever. Uh, and then she goes, you're the reason I'm late. I'm going, I'm giving you a ride. Anyhow, listen, I don't care about attention. I wanted something new. Bonnie talked me into Alexis. Really, Fred talked me into it. Bonnie planted a seed. I steered Bonnie. Allie, quiet. I steered Bonnie away from other cars that I heard that are nice but need a lot of work at times. Everybody at Brid- Bridgewater Lexus, everybody I dealt with, the finance lady, the guy that ran the showroom, my salesman, it was easy to deal with the lady, the finance lady. I bought the extended warranty. I paid a couple. Yeah, I mean, she brought this price in that was ridiculous. I go, what am I, a fucking mooch? I'm not going to pay that price. You know, it's bad enough I paid over. St- you know, here's the thing, too. They go, well, you know, you have to pay a little over sticker because you can't get a car. I go, well, the same with my trade and You're going to have to pay a little over because you can't get a car. You know what I mean? It works both ways. But they were so easy to deal with. There was no pressure. The guy also, too, I said, you know, they had those gifts at the car lot and stuff, you know, all those gifts. I go, I want a backpack. You know, they had a backpack there that says Lexus. You know, I don't know why. I wanted something. He wanted to give me a fucking cup, you know, with, that you drink one of those thermos cups. I go, well, yeah, everybody has thermos cups. I go, give me the backpack. And the price on the backpack there was 125 Like, no one's paying $125. It's, you know, made by Swiss Army, and it says Lexus on it. You know, maybe you would pay in a store, whatever. You're not paying. And then he got- Whatever? Just you go up there and you go, could I get this for whatever? And yeah. they're like, yeah, yeah, what, whatever. Yeah, that's what there it is. you go, all right, here. So, but the guy threw in the backpack. He said he paid for it out of his pocket. And I said, well, I don't want, want it done. I don't want you to pay. And and you know whatever he was a nice the salesman was great which is I got his card right here, Rich Tulo, T U L L O. I don't know how much more time we can spend on your ex, ex, <laughs> <laughs> what I would exciting just, sales uh, experience. Let's talk. Okay, so anyhow, can't wait to buy. When do you think you're going to get your car? Hmm. As soon as the title gets there. You're going to go pick. Now, did I also steer you in the direction of where the bill of sale is, what the bill of sale is, what, the extra key you had? You didn't know about, about a bill of sale. You don't know what that is. I Do you think I've, ne- what do you think I like came out of some cocoon when you arrived and were like, what is this world that I am living in? No, I. you don't think I like bought and sold cars before I met you? Of course I did. I'm my own way of doing things. Yes, that is true. <laughs> I don't. I don't deal with prices. I don't. I don't fuck around. I go. I want something. I go and I get it. That's it. <laughs> this guy. I was. I had to sell my Jeep after. So I was moving to New York, and this guy. You went to. You moved to New York. Oh, sorry, to New Jersey. Oh. And I uh, just, maybe I just missed a couple of months. I don't know. Sorry. Go ahead. And. Uh, then uh, the guy, um, yeah, so a guy was just walking by my house, and he goes, he goes, you want to sell your Jeep? I was like, yes. Oh, I, I did it have a for sale sign in it? No. 
No. Oh, just boom, out of nowhere. Yes. And the guy goes, I'll give you $1,000 for it. I gave him a thousand bucks. Went to the DMV. He, switched. You gave him a thousand, or he gave you? Yeah, I'm sorry. He, oh, wait, he, he gave me a thousand oh, bucks. Yeah, you did. He, goes, he goes, "I'll give you a thousand dollars for it." I was like, "Great." Yeah. Because I had to just get rid of it, and I didn't know how to do it, and all of a sudden, it just. So he okay. said, "There you go. You didn't know how to do it." Yeah, but I'm telling. I'm trying to share with you. I have my own way of doing things. Well, you didn't, that, that's not your way of doing things. <laughs> if you just. Yeah, my new yeah, yeah. my way of doing things was I stood on the street thinking, "How am I going to sell this Jeep?" And some guy walked up and was like, "You want to sell your Jeep?" Oh, okay. <laughs> I just yeah. have. You're almost. I look at you, and I feel like you're. There's something mentally wrong with you. Like, oh my god! You, you, no, you just. I'm goes, fascinated that you, you can like you, with your brain. You can even like comprehend I a can't mental believe. illness. Her <laughs> eyes open up and go. I do things the way I do it. <laughs> I do. I didn't know how to do yeah, it. But I'm doing fine. I've I've done everything this way my life, my whole life. Uh, and I haven't. I don't. You in I, any didn't, way. I didn't. I, I didn't. Have. I didn't raise my daughter the exact same way as everybody else. It's, she's yeah, and she's one in of the prison. greatest <laughs> people I've ever met. <laughs> she's beyond great so, she's beyond great well I okay mean, th some things just work out some things just just are fine you have to like twist and pull and prod and all right we got a few minutes let's talk about the, oh uh, i'm benefit. sorry was i <laughs> was i sharing something for one second i just listened to you go on and on about buying a fucking lexus like people are getting information you were like and then uh, the sticker oh, here goes price the voice and then the sticker price is uh <laughs> two i said hey, it works both ways buddy uh, 2000 yeah. and 2000 and, uh, yeah. but dee -doo -boo -boo. and it's like i would i just yeah. sat here i just sat here going like I can I cannot imagine this is interesting to anyone. But I will not interrupt. Let him go. He enjoys it. I sh changed the light bulb, and I told you where the title was. It's like you're trying to get credit for such bizarre things. I, okay, great. Thank no, you so much. I, know, I appreciate it. I don't it. try to get credit. All the little things that. Anna but what about like, like if do we should I be doing that too? You do it. Don't act like you don't. So don't. I don't. Here goes, Mrs. I do things my way. While well, you, you know, whatever. Let's just move on. We both have <laughs> Mrs. I do things my way. Oh, I'm sorry that you can't control me the I'm way not that you would to like. Control you? Are yes. you kidding me? Oh. Oh, I, I was talking for two no, that's seconds. Not, you've been talking the whole time. Yap, 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 calling me crazy and oh angry. Oh, my God. I would love for somebody to go through this podcast. Uh, they and will. And just time who talks more in the podcast. It will be like the graph will just Are you kidding? You think Rich so? Rich Voss times. I no. guarantee you talks way more than me. Oh, oh my, my God. God. You want to you wanna bet me? I don't gamble. All right, we got to wrap this up. You want to give it a quick synopsis of the benefit? You watched the whole thing. You I watched sat every single act. You sat and watched every act. That's pretty amazing. I didn't sit. I stood, and my feet were fucking killing me at the end because I had on heels. We all had to take tests. We got there. We had to take the, uh, what is it, CPR? Is that what it's called? That test? What's the main test? Uh, I don't remember, but yeah. The test, you know. And we all had to take a test, which is... Well, really nerve wracking. You're going there to perform, and you think, "Oh shit! Now I got to take a." Well, test. one guy got his name crossed out. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to him for a second, then all of a sudden, I was like, "Where is he?" And then his name was crossed out. I was like, "It's yeah." It was like the picture in Back to the Future where they just started <laughs> uh, fading away. Yeah, but uh, so he obviously tested positive. Sad. He, Two people did. I didn't yeah. know who that guy was. I did. But the but the other guy wasn't supposed to be doing the show, right? No, the and the one guy was going to do a, a guest spot. Mm -hmm. My theory is that Bill Burr just went around and been like, "Tell him he's positive. Tell him he's positive." <laughs> is that your theory? My theory, yeah. It was a good benefit. I again, I hosted this year. It was the Patrice O'Neill benefit, the ninth uh, year. Ninth year. Rich has hosted all nine years. Fantastic host. It was a lot. The of fun. audience was probably the best audience, I would say. Oh no! That they, I've been to, I haven't oh, been to every single one of them, but yeah, they were, they're great every year. But this one year, they were really good because they haven't been in two years. I mean, they, they were did, good and they were smart and they were like they they, it, they just they liked everybody. They were you know they had to wear masks. The whole audience had to wear mask. Uh, you I'm know. sure that a lot of people had it under their nose. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just saying. Well, that's what I think. 
Uh, yeah, it was a great, great la- lineup. I hosted. I brought Mateo on. Uh, Mateo he was Lane. killed. He, he, as he walked to the mic, he goes, he goes, I'm, as you know, I'm gay. <laughs> like, it was just so funny. Obvi- no, he goes, obviously, I'm gay. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, my opening, I killed, then he killed. Then after him was... Uh, Mike Vecchione Mike also Vec- killed. Holy shit. These, very, are, very oh, these are great, great joke writers and, and comics. Then um, Yamanika. Yamanika was oh, so, killed. so funny. I loved it. Yamanika. And who was after Yamanika? Uh, then I think it was Sal Volcano. No, was it that that quick? Was, wasn't mm-hmm. there somebody before? I might be missing somebody, but I think it was Sal. Then Chris DiStefano. Chris DiStefano really very funny and, and same uh, with sal you know uh everybody david tell did a guest spot and david tell was super super fun. oh um oh, pete, davidson. pete davidson went on was very yeah. funny yeah and looked like he didn't he said he hadn't done stand-up in three years <laughs> didn't look like he had any material sort of prepared just kind of started talking it's like amazing that people can do that yeah very funny he probably had cliff notes he probably had you know uh yeah. are we missing anybody it seems like somebody Bill Burr. A tell. Oh, Sherrod. 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 Oh, he slaughtered. He killed. He killed, yeah. Oh, yeah. he went on um, after Mike Vecchione, I think. No, he went on. Oh, before. he went on second. Second. Matteo, Sherrod, Vecchione, Yamanika, Sal, Chris, Pete, A tell, Bill. Yeah. Great and show. Everybody, it was it was so much fun. And it wasn't even that long. Like usually, like sometimes he is, like those shows get a little long. But it was it was um it was yeah. perfect. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, it was great. You know, Maureen p- helps put puts Maureen it together. Maureen Taran, who works uh, p- puts it together at True, True TV. TV, puts she, it together. Put, you know, Bill puts it together. I don't do anything with the booking. They ask me my opinion. I just go yes to everything. You know. Uh, it was funny, you know, I mean, Maureen gets so stressed out, you know, she came up to me before the show, and she goes, do you want everybody's intro? No, she said, Did you, she goes, are you going to get everybody's intro? No, like, no, no. Right, have what have I ever want. done this before? <laughs> yeah. uh, Kenny was there, Club Soda Kenny. Uh, it, was, it was a fun night, and then we went out to eat and went to the stand, hung out with my friend Dave and his new wife, and... Uh, uh, we didn't fight at all. We had a good night, right? We haven't fought in a while. Just, just saving it for the podcasts. This isn't a fight. Sometimes we don't agree because you're. Well, it's fun, like because because you're now, close-minded. Because off, off the podcast, you're you're so much less like rigid like you'll laugh and make fun of yourself a bit but on the podcast you refuse to do it for that's some not, reason i don't know why you take you laugh many times you, ta- you, ta- you take yourself more seriously on the podcast that's why we fight on the podcast more first of all i laughed i laughed because yesterday you were laughing about the whole like lexus thing and i was calling you so weird and stuff you're driving me around in your new lexus and you were like fine with it but today you're like no i'm not lexus a bridge order all right, folks, this weekend, uh, three E's in Colorado Springs. Next weekend, the Plaza, the Comedy Works in Las Vegas, richfoss.com. February's all booked up. Oh, I have March. gigs coming up. Yeah, where? Please visit my Instagram. <laughs> Is that where they're at? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, um, well, she does things her way. Yeah. Okay, here's one. Thursday, February 3rd, I'm at Club 360 at the Parks Casino. There's a good one. Okay, 8 p.m. show. I might go Parks with you Parks Casino that. in Ben Salem? Yeah. It's, yeah. Ben off, Salem. Off of 95 or what? Not 295. So, I might go with you to that one, hang out. Okay, King Krantz is opening for me. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. Listen, we're done. Uh, I think the title of this podcast will be called Lexus. Oh, Bridgewater. No, just Lexus. How about Fred? We just call it Fred. Find him. (laughs) Google Fred. There's not that many Freds in the world. Well, okay, we'll do Lexus slash Fred. Bye. No, Lexus, Fred, Bridgewater. It's fine. Just call it Lexus. Thank you for listening. Just call it Lexus. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate you. We're going to have new chairs soon. 
No, we like these ones. Look at how nice they are. Well, then we have to take the rug out so they slide back and forth. Okay, let's let's just maybe put some cushions on. Let's them get out of this. All right. Bye. Bye. My Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some smunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bum and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.